In this lecture, we're going to discuss the thermal decomposition of nitrates now. We've already previously discussed the thermal decomposition of carbonates. And uh, the thermal decomposition of nitrates follows uh, pretty much the same, uh, same uh, example and the same uh, explanation is uh, going to be given. So first, I'm going to discuss what a nitrate ion is. Uh, in a nitrate ion, it's NO3 1 minus. It's one nitrogen uh, bonded with three oxygens. So you have this nitrogen over here and nitrogen has a total of five electrons and it has a tendency to share three electrons. Uh, so it's forming a double bond with one of the oxygens. So there, there are two electrons each being shared between nitrogen and oxygen and it's sharing one electron with this oxygen over here. And there are two electrons, uh, lone pairs of nitrogen, which normally exist whenever nitrogen is bonding out of the five electrons, three electrons are involved in bonding, whereas one lone pair is uh, is not being used in bonding. But over here, it's forming a dative bond with this oxygen over here. So what happens is this oxygen wanted to share two electrons. Its outer shell is complete. This oxygen needed two electrons. And by forming a dative covalent bond or a coordinate bond, both electrons in this bond are coming from nitrogen. They are the lone pairs of nitrogen that are being involved over here. And this oxygen gets its two electrons and its outer shell is now complete. So this is also stable. But what happens to this oxygen over here? It's only forming one single bond over here, sharing only one electron. Now by sharing one electron, that does not complete oxygen's outer shell. So it has one, two, three, four, this one coming from nitrogen, five, six, and seven electrons, and it still needs one electron. So like an ionic bond, this oxygen over here gains one electron from outside. It could be sodium that would be losing electron. It could be any metal that would be losing electron. So to complete this oxygen's outer shell, uh, this oxygen gets an electron uh, like an ionic bond from outside, from a metal somewhere, from a positive ion, uh, and it gains an electron, which is why this entire ion, NO3, has a charge of minus one. So this is a typical structure of a nitrate ion. Nitrogen forming a double bond with one oxygen, a single bond with the other oxygen. That oxygen trying to complete its outer shell gains an electron from outside and it's forming a dative bond with another oxygen. So this is NO3, one minus ion. Now I've drawn uh, the full, a full example of magnesium uh, nitrate where a magnesium ion in the center Mg2 plus is being attracted by two nitrate ions, NO3, one minus. This is NO3, one minus. And this is the other NO3 one minus. The reason why there's one magnesium ion and two nitrate ions is that uh, nitrate is only gaining one electron. It has a charge of one minus. So one electron Mg2 plus goes to one nitrate and the other electron goes to the other nitrate. So there are two nitrates and one magnesium ion. So this is the formula of magnesium nitrate. NO3 would be twice. Now, uh, I'm going to come to stability uh, later, but the first thing is the reason why nitrates decompose is that this Mg2 plus is going to be attracting uh, electrons from oxygen. So the negative charge uh, or the electron density around the oxygen atom would be pulled towards uh, this Mg2 plus. Uh, the same would happen with the, on the other side as well. So oxygen's electrons are going to be pulled towards this magnesium ion over here. And what this would do eventually is, so let's try and draw this, uh, this oxygen, uh, the electron density of this oxygen would be pulled towards uh, Mg2+, plus, and the same would probably happen on the other side as well. Uh, the oxygen, the electrons on the oxygen are going to be pulled towards uh, Mg2+. Plus. And when when, uh, when this starts happening, the, the nitrate ion is going to get polarized. All the electron density is going to be shifted towards this Mg2 plus because it's attracting those electrons. And that is what's going to make this uh, nitrate ion unstable. And the NO2 molecule is going to break away. So this side over here is the, is the NO2, uh, NO2 molecule that is eventually going to... It's, so the nitrate ion is going to decompose and the NO2 is going to break away. Similarly, on this side as well, uh, another NO2 molecule would be produced. And this magnesium in the middle is going to attract the oxygen uh, and the oxygen is going to take, bring its electrons with it, so O2 minus. So MgO would be formed. But you can also uh, notice that this Mg2 plus is exerting its uh, polarizing effect. 
on two auxins. There are two auxins. It's dragging the electrons of this auxin as well as dragging the electrons of this auxin towards itself. But Mg2 plus can only join with one auxin 2 minus. So this is one extra auxin. So it's, either, it's either going to bond with either of the two oxygen atoms. So what happens to the other oxygen atom is that it's eventually going to form an oxygen molecule. So uh, half O2 molecule would be produced. Uh, one of the oxygen would be left in the, at the end and that would eventually form an oxygen molecule. So two NO2 molecules, the nitrates are going to decompose. One of the oxygens from either side is going to uh, bond with this magnesium ion and form an ionic compound MgO. And one of the oxygens either one of the oxygen is going to be left uh, at the end and that's going to form an oxygen molecule. So if I write an equation, at the end of the day, the equation is going to be that the magnesium nitrate is decomposing to form an oxide, is forming two NO2 molecules and half oxygen molecules. So that's your overall balanced equation for the decomposition of a nitrate, of a group two nitrate.